Hey, what's up everybody? Tutal Toby here, and in today's On Sheep step-by-step -step tutorial, we are going to continue trying to solve all of the tier two challenges in the Tutal Toby library. So here we are at tutaltoby.com. We can access the full library, and we can see here that in the library, we can scroll down and we can set up our filters here. We can say filter by tier one, the easiest challenges in the library. Well, every single one of these has been solved and they all have a tutorial already. So let's move on here to the second Second hardest group of challenges, the tier two challenges. Here we go. Challenge number 24-08-01. Let's say click here to practice. And we can see that there are 201 people who have successfully solved this challenge. And the average solve time is five minutes and 59 seconds. Let's see if we can beat that solve time today. So we're going to say click here to begin and go what is the mass of this part in xx grams and we're going to try to enter that mass in right down here let's try 69 grams oh that is incorrect all right i guess we have to actually make the model here to come up with the correct mass so i'm going to click this button here open in new window that way i can move this window to my second monitor and before I get started actually modeling, I always like to come up with a game plan. Whether I'm modeling from a 2D drawing or modeling just something out of my head, I always like to ask myself the same basic questions. Where should the origin be located? That's my first question. And since this model has a line of symmetry, the origin will be somewhere along that line. And then down here in this view, I can see that there are a lot of dimensions coming together at the intersection of these two lines. So my origin is gonna be down in this corner as well. So that 34 comes together there this 14 this 10 this 50 they all come together at that corner so that is a good place for the origin so now the next question is what is my first feature going to look like i think my first sketch is going to be this l shape here i think that i'm going to take that shape and i'm going to extrude it mid plane out to a depth of 40 millimeters so i get that symmetry and then i think i'll add in maybe this notch here in the front of the part this notch here running along the top of the part and then maybe these fillets here on this corner this radius 10 fillet and that should do it that should give me everything I need for this model so I know I took a minute or two there to kind of come up with that game plan but I think it's always good to start with the game plan before you actually start modeling and if you agree hit the like button on this video and I'm gonna move the clock over here so we can keep track of how long it takes us as we're modeling this in on shape now I am gonna create this document in the public space I'm gonna call it 24-08 whoops 24-08-01 L clip and that means if you're ever in on shape either in a free account or a paid account you can search the public space and you can look at my feature tree and if you get stuck on this model you can maybe get unstuck by looking through my actual model so here we are in on shape creating this document and I'm gonna just make sure that my workspace units are in millimeters since this challenge is in millimeters and we are in millimeters here so let's now jump into our game plan front plane I press the letter s on my keyboard begin a new sketch press the letter n to get normal to press the letter s to create a line single click move over single click again let go of my mouse 50 enter move my mouse straight up single click let go of my mouse 10 enter move my mouse over in this in this direction single click move my mouse up single click over single click and then down here to the origin and then i can hit escape and whoops started a new tab there by accident hit escape and i can move this uh dimension down below here move this dimension up s key dimension and this dimension here is going to be at 34 and this dimension here is going to be at 14 and that's what your first sketch should look like nice easy sketch there nice and fully constrained now for me what i always do is i always press the s key and then i right click and say customize and i add the extrude command right here to the s key so i don't have to go up here to the corner and choose extrude i can just press s key extrude and then here for my shortcut i use the tab key so tab 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 40 tab 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 space bar and that gives me a depth of 40 and a symmetric extrusion so we'll press the enter key and there we go that's our first extrusion that nice l shape now let's create this little uh, notch here kind of looking down from the top so this face here s key begin a sketch n key to get normal to s key i can create a rectangle so i'm going to single click here move my mouse up like so single click like so and then i can hit escape and then we could uh, maybe add a point to that rectangle so i could add a point here and just kind of wake up the midpoint of this line drop in a point right there hit escape and then i can take this point here which is the origin and this point here and press the letter v to make them vertical whoops nope i'm gonna press Control z for undo let me try that again pick this point 
pick this point here. Press the letter H for horizontal. H for horizontal. And uh, that will line those up. I know it kind of looks vertical at the moment, but if you press shift five, that takes you to a true top view. And then you can see that this is actually horizontal here. So we press the letter H there to make those horizontal. And then we can press the letter S and add some dimensions. So the dimension for this sketch is going to be at a dimension of eight millimeters wide. And because that is center line symmetric, that should be nice and centered there. And then in this direction, it's going to be from this line back here to the origin or even to this plane. Sometimes it's good to know you can dimension to planes and that's going to be 26. And now for that extrusion, S key extrude, we're going to use this option here for remove because this is going to be a cut. So remove, and this is going to go through all and hit the green check mark. Oh yeah, looking good. And now this face here, S key, begin a sketch, N key to get normal too. And uh, for this one here, I'm kind of tempted just to add in those uh, radii, those radii five as, uh, as actual fillets and leave this sketch sharp. It might be a little bit easier just to do it that way. And with a sketch like this, sometimes what I'll do is I'll S key and I'll just do um, a rectangle. So I'll do a, a center point rectangle here. And then what I can do is I can just create the center point rectangle directly above the origin here. So I can just make a rectangle like so directly above the origin like this. And that way the Cent the, the rectangle just kind of begin centered so then I can um, hit escape and then I can S key dimension and the dimension from this edge of the model to this line here is a dimension of six and then the dimension from the top of the the rectangle or of the original part down to this line here is a dimension of five and then I can press the S key and jump into my extrude command that's five going down in that direction five and then I can press the S key and I can do extrude. And this extrude is going to be a remove through all. And there we go. That creates that notch in the back. And then what I can do is I can add the fillet command. So S key fillet. And this fillet is going to have a value of five millimeters. And that's going to be on this edge here and on this edge here. So that's just a different way of doing it. You could certainly add those fillets in the sketch. But if it was me, I would probably do it this way. I would probably just make the fillet its own standalone feature. And then we're going to make one more fillet here. So S key fillet. And this fillet here is going to go on these front two edges of the part. And that one is going to have a radius of 10 millimeters. Enter and enter. Now, whenever you're going through and you're creating models, it's always a good idea to rename your features, maybe even rename your sketches. So this feature here, I would rename shift N main L shape. And then I'll, I'll click on that feature again. You can see I've got this little number one next to my mouse. So that means that feature is selected. So I'll click on that feature. Then I'll click on this feature here. Shift N. I'll call this like front rect notch. Okay. Click that. Click this one here. Shift N. Call this one like top rear rect notch. Okay. Click on this fillet here. Shift N. Call this something like fillet uh, top rear rect notch. And then click on this fillet here, shift N, and I'd call this something like front corners. Okay, even though I know we're speed running this thing, it's still good to kind of get in the habit of practicing some, some best practices and certainly renaming your parts is a best practice. Here you can press the letter P, which hides your planes. You can come over here to the name of the part in the parts list and you can right click and then you can choose edit appearance. And you can change this appearance to kind of match the customer color. Customers always like it when you do this, if you can kind of match up with their colors. So we'll match it up with the customer color. And then we'll finish off here by doing a right mouse button and going to assign material. And the material for this is going to come from the Too Tall Toby library of materials. I'll include a link down below in the description so you can learn how to set up your own custom materials. We'll fly out this menu here and we're going to assign 1060 aluminum and hit the green check mark. And now to answer the question in the app, we have to measure the mass of this of this part. So we click this command here and then you just click anywhere on the part. So just click here on the part and it looks like it's coming up with 79.1 grams. So we could come over here. The answer it's looking for here is in XX grams. What is the mass of this part in XX grams? Sorry, what is the mass of this part in XX grams? But if we type in 79.1 and press enter, 
Oh yeah, we got it right. So you can be a little bit more precise if you want. As long as you're within the tolerance range, you're gonna get credit for that model. So it looks like we did it in eight minutes and 47 seconds and we got it correct. So this is gonna get added to the community scoreboard. A little bit longer than the uh, five minute and 59 second average. Let's see if we end up pulling the average up a little bit. Sometimes that happens when we solve it. Oh yeah, we did. We pulled it up by one second. So now the average solve time for this is six minutes. But of course, if I wanted to beat that time, which that's always my goal, I always try to beat the average time. I could click on this try again button and then I could go through and I could try again and see if maybe I can do it a little bit faster now that I've got my basic game plan down. But that is it for that tutorial. If you enjoyed that tutorial, be sure to hit the like button on this video. Be sure to leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think about these tutorials. And of course, be sure to try out the app over at tutaltoby.com. You can get started for free. And then if you like what you're learning, you can unlock the entire library. And I will see you in the next on-shape step-by-step tutorial.